I support the community's angst over this facility, not because it's not required, but because of the location that it's been chosen. It's a gateway site, and the people in the city of Wyndham have for many years fought to make sure that we are a preferred place for people and families to come and live, for businesses to come and set up, creating jobs in the West. And to have something like this in that particular area without any consultation from the government um, was very disappointing. So Council's been working as closely as we can with government, uh, really following the announcement to ensure that we're able to influence to get the best outcome for a Wyndham residents. Our interest in working with government is really to try and get them to look at an alternative site. As I said, we appreciate the position that they're in, in terms of underinvestment over many years in the youth justice system. But what we're arguing is that there's a better location than Werribee South. The government and council have been working very hard for the last five years to uh, promote this as the uh, attractor for new investment and jobs over the next 20 to 30 years. It's located in the, the salad bowl of Australia, if you'd like to speak, here in Werribee South, uh, and it's very close to residential areas. So, uh, to me, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's complete nonsense to have the, a, a detention centre here in this location. Although we acknowledge the need for a new state-of-the-art facility in Victoria, we think that this is not an appropriate site. Let us make it very, very clear to Spring Street, very, very clear to Daniel Andrews that we are not going to take this lying down, that we will fight this right until the very end and we will not stand by and let him destroy the city of Wyndham. Mr Capellas was quoted as saying the council needs to come up with compelling arguments to move it. Well, look around here tonight, you've got a few thousand compelling arguments. We are Wyndham and when things like this happen we come together united as one voice to say our voice needs to be heard. So the government has picked the, the fight with the wrong people. Not in Rugby South!